Greetings my viewers and welcome to the 42nd episode of our Let's Play Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex. So it's time for the last time trial from the water area. Uh, and it's gonna be H2, oh no. This will be a little more difficult than the previous map which only took us one attempt. And oh, I can't stop staring at that clean 40 seconds right there, wow. That's so nice, my OCD is getting satisfied by this. Alright, let's enter the map. I'm gonna switch over to post commentary in my successful run and I'll see you all guys there. Alright, here we are, and once again it was all just a matter of getting familiar with the map, trying to memorize where all the things you want and all the things that you don't want are. For example here you see that I'm going relatively deep, just so that I can avoid the nitros and the, the sea mines. Yeah, here I should have kept moving forward since I had the aqua aku, but I don't know, I. My, my brain just forgot that I, that I had an Aquaku with me. So just keep moving forward and in case you have an Aquaku, don't wait for the sea mines to go through. Here you can see I even dodged one. You wanna be exiting the submarine part at around 20 seconds, like I did right here. And now we're just sprinting towards the next part of the level, which is the uh, electrocuted water, don't ask me about that, I don't know what I was trying to do. I mean, I know what I was trying to do, it was just executed so poorly. But, uh, yeah. Didn't cost me much at the end. Alright, there is a three box here, get it. Oh, fell in the water, good thing I had the Aquaku, lost a bit of time, but it's fine. But we're gonna get an Aquaku here. Right, keep moving. Oh, left one box behind. But apparently it was enough. Break all of these because as you saw there were some hidden time boxes behind the brown ones. Just a few more left. This is the last part of the level right here. Just break these. Go straight over here, break these. And finish the map with the 4808. So, there we go. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that proved out to be a little bit more tricky than I was expecting it. But as you can see, this was only my second completed attempt. So, yeah. Platinum time was 50 seconds flat. Yeah, you just have to learn the map a little bit and then things become much easier. There we go! Five Platinum Relics in the water area. That is now complete, so... Naturally, we can head over to the uh, elevator and take a look at the map we've unlocked. Here is the double gem uh, we took last time. So we've unlocked Ghost Town, which is a cart-related map. So, uh, yeah, this is what we're gonna be doing next time. Um, so for now, let's just head back downstairs and take one final look at our gorgeous relic collection at the water area right here. There we go, let's admire the beauty of having 5 Platinum Relics. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. And as I always say, remember to rate, comment and subscribe. I'll see you all next time.